I received this chat from my friend. Um, he shouts me, he says, Sonny, there's something I want to tell you. And I replied, I said, okay, bro, I'm listening. He said, I'm HIV positive. I'm HIV positive. Oh. And I asked him, I asked him, how did you know? Did you go for the test at the hospital? Then he replied, he said, yes, so I went there and they confirmed that I'm HIV positive. Then you can see the, the cry, he's crying, he put the cry emojis there. Then that prompts me to reply to him and ask him, why they cry? Why are you crying? He says, because I'll surely kill myself. And I said, well, for what? For what? You see the emoji, I open my eye there. Like, why are you killing yourself? Because of HIV or what? That's what I replied to him. He said, how can I be having HIV? That's what he said. And I said, I, I, I now told him, like, it's like you don't understand the meaning of HIV. I'm the one replying to him. He asked, so how? Then I, I replied to him, I said, HIV is a normal sickness, just like malaria. It doesn't kill people at all, except you allow it to kill you just the same way you can allow malaria to kill you. He said, I don't understand. Then I replied to him, don't worry, I'm coming to your house right now. This is where we end up the chat, guys. So let's talk about HIV. How do you understand HIV, guys? Let me know in the comment section. HIV simply means human immune deficiency virus. Like, um, when your immune system, you know, will be weak, you know, will be weak so that, you know, it can, you know, any virus that enters, enters into your body or your immune system cannot be able to fight against those um, sickness again. You know, there are some small, small sickness that can enter into somebody's uh, body and because your immune system is strong enough, your immune system can fight against that disease or that virus. But when your immune system is down, when you, when you get some small, small uh, sicknesses like that, which your immune system is supposed to fight against them, because your immune system is down, it cannot uh, fight against those things again. That is HIV. That is what it means. Your immune system is weak. So what you need to do is to boost in that immune system. There's drugs for it. HIV has drugs. It's not like before where there's no, where, when there's no uh, uh, HIV drugs. It kills people like foul, like chicken. Not like that anymore, guys. In case of you that doesn't understand the meaning of HIV, don't kill yourself because you have HIV. HIV doesn't kill anymore. As I explained already, HIV simply means human, which you are the human. You know, human immune, like your immune system is weak. So that virus, once it's in your body, it weakens your immune system. But the good news is that there is medication for it. This is my friend, he contacted me on WhatsApp and uh, sir, you know, he said just the way you saw on the screen, our chat, say he has HIV, that he wants to kill himself, he wants to hang himself. <laughs> I was like, what? So, but I've met him already, we've talked about it. He gets, right now, he's on medication now, he's on his medication. So, I'm bringing this issue here, guys, for those of you who may have had this virus in, the, in, in their system, on your body, and you were thinking that this is the end of your life, this is the end of you. No, guys. HIV doesn't kill anymore. But although it has no cure yet, it does not have cure, but it can, you can live as many years as we provided you as on your drugs. Take your drugs every day yes so once you continually you know take your drugs religiously you live healthier happier more than any uh, anybody else that doesn't even have the virus it will be a stupid thing on anybody's part uh, say that okay I'm, i have hiv i'm hiv positive so therefore i will kill myself or i will start thinking and die bro mommies auntie my darling, but never you bring that kind of thoughts into your mind at all. Because HIV is just like ordinary malaria. Like malaria can kill. Malaria has killed a lot of people. Just on, you call malaria ordinary. But malaria has killed a lot of people. Why? 
because they allow it to kill them. Just like HIV, when you have HIV and you did not, you know, try to be on drugs, be on your medications, you know, first of all, you have to go to check up. You have to always check your body, check your system, you know, to know whether you have this virus. Do you know that this virus can stay in your system up to 10 years, 20 years without manifesting? You won't know. The virus will hide in your system. You, you'll be living fine. You'll be enjoying your life. But you have it. It will start weakening your body small, 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 small. Kill all your kidneys, your livers, everything. Damage everything in your system. Before you could realize it, it will lead to ACE. That will be when the thing will start, you know, uh, tormenting you, even kill you. You get. But when you uh, when you always check yourself, you know, go to check up, you know, to know your status, that will help you to know that you have this virus. Do you know that you could? As you are staying right now, watching this video, you may have HIV right now, but you may not know. You may have HIV right now, but you may not know. Some will have it in their body, and when you tell somebody, go and do HIV test, the person will say, God forbid, you want me to die in my early age, so that I'll start thinking about it and die. <laughs> when you have the HIV and you do not go and test, you do not go for the test to know your status, it will start tormenting you, guy. You'll be feeling sick. You'll be uh, you'll be taking you'll be taking uh, malaria drugs, thinking that is malaria, taking a lot of drugs, not knowing that it's an HIV. So you continue to weaken your system until it finally kills you. When it kills you, that is the end of you. So it is very very important. You always go to the hospital, check yourself. To know whether you have the virus because anybody can have it you can because nowadays the way we go around you know huh, you may have it right now but you will not know remember i said that the virus can stay in your body for like 10 years 20 years without you knowing of it knowing you'll be taking uh, drugs for malaria or any other thing you're thinking that is any other thing that is worrying you you never know that is hiv you, you see so, but when you test and you discover that it's an HIV, what you do is to, they will put you on medication. You live longer. So, my dear viewers, I entreat you and I encourage you to always shake your body. And when you finally find out that you are HIV positive, instead of you thinking of how to kill yourself or worrying yourself or start, you know, thinking, never you do that, my dear. Just be on your medication. You will live as many years as you wish with the virus. When you start taking the medications, like six months, the virus will disappear in your system. Although it will go, it will, all of them will not go, but you will not be able to transfer. You can, you can have sex with somebody, but you cannot transfer it to, the, to, the, to your partner. Because you, are, you have been in, on drugs, take your drugs like religiously without missing it. Without missing the time, day. If they tell you that you, are, you will be taking it like 8 o'clock in the morning, Every eight o'clock in the morning, you take it. If you take it like that, like that, like that, like six months, the virus will disappear in your system. If you're a man, you can sleep with your wife, who who is not HIV positive. You can sleep with her without her having it. If you're a girl, you can sleep with any man without transferring the virus to the man, because you are always on drugs. You see, so people who have HIV do marry, get kids. You know. <laughs> you see, there's no difference. So it's only for you to, you know, always taking your drugs. Make sure you're always on medication. But once you stop taking your drugs, the virus will rise again. But when you are taking your drugs to make it weaker, to make the virus to be weak, it will manifest. This is my friend um, will be watching this video. He said I shouldn't mention his identity and I will not do that. But I'm using the shots to make an encouragement like it, it, because I know that many people out there, for sure, will have this kind of thinking, this kind of thoughts of, you know, suicide, you know, because they have the virus HIV. Why would you want to kill yourself because you have an HIV? Let me know in the comment section, how were you able to, you know, overcome the stigma of HIV virus? Many people have, a, have different stigma about HIV. That is, that is the end of their life, that is they will die, you know. That is just stigma you need to overcome. You get guys, HIV doesn't kill any longer. So it's very, very important, very, very important you always go to the hospital and test whether you have this virus so that you start on time. 
on your drugs. Don't state. Don't say, oh, I won't go. If I go and they say I'm a positive, I'm a HIV positive, I will start thinking and die. You know? No, no, no. All these are the stigmas you need to overcome. You get so those stigma they are not true. Once you have the virus, there are so many people who live by drugs without not because of HIV, other sicknesses, you know, other chronic illness. You know, they go, they live on with drugs. So this one, you know, every just that every day take one drug out of it, one drugs, one drugs, one drugs. You know, you live long. So. This is what I just said, okay, let me come here and share it with you guys so that others will also learn about this HIV. Are you living with HIV? Let me know in the comment section how are you able to overcome your stigmas. Let me know in the comment section, guys. Do you have someone who, who is HIV positive? How are you planning to, you know, encourage that person? Let us know in the comment section. Or how best do you think I should have encouraged my friend about HIV? Let me know in the comment section, guys. How do you understand HIV? In your own words, in your own explanation. Explain to us in the comment section. In my next video, just be expecting another good content coming from this channel. And if you have, if you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, guys, I don't know what you are waiting for. Just subscribe. Give it a big thumbs up. After subscribing, turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. So, guys. See you in my next upload. Bye for now.